Hi, my name is Avinia. This is Peter. Welcome to Games Made Easy, a channel to learn board games quickly and easily. Today, thanks to my friend Matt, I would like to teach you and give you tips on how to play Century Golem Edition, a fabulous game for beginners and experienced players. I love everything about this game, how it looks, the components, how quick it is to learn and how competitive it can get once you know how to play it. If you enjoy this video, consider subscribing and clicking the like button. It helps a lot. In Century Golem Edition, you play a crystal merchant, mining soul crystals, trading them and crafting them into crystal golems. Once a player has created the required number of golems, it's the end of the game and the player with the most powerful golems, money and crystals wins the game. Let's set up the game by placing the four crystal boxes on the side for easy access. I've bought this player mat from the publisher because it's lovely and it adds to the theme of the game, but the game works just fine without it. Align the crystals in this order, yellow, green, blue and pink, as they get progressively more valuable, with yellow being the cheapest. Separate the four decks of cards. The grey cards are golems, the blue cards are merchant cards, and those with the purple border are your starter cards. Finally, we also have the yellow caravan cards. Deal the starter merchant cards and give one like this and one like that to each player. Put the remaining starter cards in the box. Shuffle all the remaining merchant cards and reveal six of them face up and keep the rest of the deck face down here. Shuffle the point cards, those with the golem on the back and place five of them face up and keep the rest face down here as well. Add two copper coins per player near the first golem and two silver coins per player near the second. In this four player game, it's eight coins of each type. Return the rest of the coins to the box. Finally, take the yellow caravan cards and find the one with the crystal on top of the right corner. Add three more for this four player game, shuffle them and give one face up to each player. The player with the crystal is the starting player and places three yellow crystals on the caravan. The second and third player take four yellow crystals and the fourth and fifth take three yellow and one green crystal. Now that all the crystals and cards are set, we are ready to begin. But before we go into the four actions, let's have a look at the three different types of merchant cards we can use to build a better deck. All merchant cards have crystals in the top left corner, but they have three different backgrounds. You start with one create card and there's another eight in the deck. They all have a white background and you play them to collect the crystals indicated here, like two yellows and one green. You also start with one upgrade card and can pick up one more during the game. They both have a blue background and let you upgrade crystals either two or three steps. Then all the other cards are trade cards. They make the bulk of the deck and all have a grey to white background. With them, you can transform crystals, like these three green to three blue. In your turn, you have a choice of four actions. You can play a card from your hand. You can get a new merchant card. You can claim a point golem card. Or you can rest and get back your cards that you've already used. So on your turn, as an action, you can pick one of these merchant cards and put it in your hand. There's no hand limit in this game. If the card is the leftmost, it is free. However, if it is further on the right, you must pay a crystal for each card on its left. Ideally, you want to put a yellow crystal, but sometimes it's worth spending another crystal to take a good card. Slide all the cards to the left and draw a new merchant card here. Later in the game, if you collect a merchant card that has crystals on it, you will add them to your caravan. Now, another action you can take is to play a card from your hand. If you play a create card, collect the corresponding crystals and place them on your caravan. If you play a trade card, return the crystals you're upgrading and take the new ones. If you play an upgrade card like this one, you can either upgrade one of your crystals twice like this green to a pink, or upgrade two crystals once, like those blue to a pink. If at any point during your turn you have more than 10 crystals, return those you don't want to the supply at the end of your turn. Remember that you can only play one card during your turn and that if you ever run out of crystals, just use a substitute. Another action you can take during your turn is to claim a golem. Each golem has a point value ranging from 6 to 20 and require between 4 to 6 crystals as shown at the bottom of the card. 
The more expensive golems give you the most points. If you have the required crystals in your caravan, you may return them to the supply and take the golem to place it face down in front of you. If it is the leftmost golem, also collect the copper coin. It's worth three extra points. If it's the second leftmost, take the silver coin. It's worth one point. If you ever run out of copper coins, you shift the silver ones instead. And that means that the leftmost golem is the only one getting a bonus. Like for the merchant card, slide all the golem to the left and draw a new golem card here. Finally, the fourth action you can take in your turn is to rest. And that simply means taking your cards that you've already used and putting them back in your hand. You can do this at any time and you don't need to have used all your cards. Once you've taken your action, the player on your left will take theirs and so on and so forth until one player has acquired five golems in a four or five player game or six in a two or three player game. This marks the end of the game and all players will play one more turn, including the person who closed the game. Then it's time to count the points. Add all the points from your golems, in this case 50, three points for each copper and one for each silver. So here it's seven points. And also add one point for each crystal in your caravan that's not a yellow crystal for a total of 61 points, not too bad. The player with the most points wins the game. And in case of a tie, it's the player who closed the game who wins. My tips to win at Century Golem Edition are spend the first few rounds trying to get good merchant cards. It might be worth getting an extra two yellow crystals just to buy them those cards that are way on the right. Any upgrade that gives you pink crystals is a good idea as golems that require pink crystals usually give you the most points. There's only one more upgrade card in the merchant deck and it lets you upgrade three levels so it's well worth getting it. Try to get the coppers whenever you can because those three points can make a big difference. Once you have the right engine to collect and trade crystals, there's very little need to get more cards unless they have a lot of crystals on them. So that's how you play Century Golem Edition. It's such a great game. You probably want to play another one as soon as you're done with your first game. I know I did. I left the game open for three days when I first got it. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, consider subscribing and clicking the like button. And if uh, you would like me to teach a game, leave it in the comments. I'll definitely check it out. And if you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon. The link is right here. We'll make more games easy soon. Bye now.